So feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones toward the floor. Put those bottom ribs in and up, core connected, shoulders down, shoulder blades toward your waist. And then reach your crown to the ceiling, get that spine stretching apart. And breathe. So belly moving out as that lung area expands. And then exhale, everything sinking back in, pushing up and out. And just focus inward, following the breath, getting that inner yoga connection. And warming up. Inhale, arms up to the sides. Exhale to your heart. Stretch to the front with your shoulders down. And exhale the hands behind you. Press your fingertips, your knuckles toward the floor as you stretch and pivot over as you exhale. So come into your forward bend as deeply as you like this morning, noon, whatever it is where you are. And relax. Hands up toward the ceiling, head down toward your legs. Just move your neck around a little bit, head around a little bit. Release any tension. And then slowly work your way back up. And lift your heart. Press the hands toward the floor as you push your head back. And lift your heart. Spread your toes out, no gripping. And breathe. And then inhale, coming up. And release. I feel like I should be looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> and inhale again, reach it out. Exhale to your Stretch forward, shoulders still down, and hands behind. Ask the opposite way, and again, lift your heart, stretch your spine, and exhale, coming over. And again, just as deep as you'd like. Keep your knees a little bent or straighten them if you want a little hamstring stretch. Hands toward your head, chin tucked in. And again, lift the ribs and drop the sitting bones to Find your way back slowly to the top and into the upper body for the back bend. And again, maximize or minimize coming into that heart area as your focus. And then inhale upright, release your arms. Just take a few moments to feel that circulation all along your spine. And lengthen through, arms up, shoulder level. Palms toward the ceiling and over your shoulders. Pass your hands and clasp them, bring them back by your ears. Sitting bones down, stretch it up, and don't twist as you lean to the side. So press the foot down you're leaning away from and feel the ribs stretch apart. Breathe, just relax. And inhale back to the center. Switch your hands around. And again, shoulders by your ears, arms by your shoulders, no. <laughs> <laughs> arms by your ears, body parts <laughs> going to the other side. And again, push the foot your knee away from down, maximize those rolling stretches, the oblique lengthening. And inhale up and release. And take a moment feeling your shoulders, not your spine. <laughs> oh, <Reset>. body hurts. <laughs> Having a person to <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and arms up, palms toward the ceiling, over your shoulders, clasp your elbows, pull the arms by your ears. And again, sitting bones down, spine stretching open and twist. Knees a little bent and weight on both feet. Stretch it up and then exhale over. And just deepen into your twist forward bend as much as your body would like. Kind of lift the sitting bones maybe a little bit. Keep breathing. And slowly work your way up, staying in the twist. And lift your heart as you look overhead, shoulders down, elbows back. Again, upper body, not the lower back while you twist it. And inhale to the top, exhale to the center, switch your arms around. Shoulders down, sitting bones down, stretch it up, and exhale to the And again, breathing. 
Exhale over. And take a few moments there to breathe and relax. Deepen in as much or as little on this side as you need. And on the inhalation, come on back up. And again, upper body back there as you pull the elbows back. Chest high, shoulders down. And then inhale upright, exhale to the center. Bring your arms up and pivot forward and into ragdoll. And just take a moment there, relaxing, breathing. Lift your sitting bones, get a little stretch on the back of your legs. You can pull in more if you want with your hands behind your legs or not, your choice. And then releasing your arms to the front, wind your waist slowly to the top and back into mountain pose. So take a moment there, feeling your spine, feeling your whole body just a little bit more warmed up and ready. So, shoulder and spine, a little back bendy stuff today. So kind of focus through the heart area. Let's start with some support on the lower back. So palms in, facing the palms at your bottom shoulder blades, fingertips toward your hips. Move those elbows toward each other. You can put the strap around the elbows to pull them toward each other if that's a challenge. Or just be gentle if you need to. So again, feet hip width apart, lengthen through the spine, looking up. And keep the hips about over your ankles. Don't push them too far forward, but leave the heart coming up toward the ceiling a little bit more. Chin a little toward your chest, don't crunch the neck too much. And then keep lengthening and breathing. And then inhale, tucking your chin, coming back upright, releasing your arms. So a little bit more spine work there, a little bit maybe through the heart as you're observing what's going on. We're gonna go either to the wall or using your chair and do a little, again, chest expansion. So if you're at the wall, hands right in front of your shoulders, and then bring them up the length of your palm a little bit above your head. Take a step back, and then push your hips right over your ankles. Keep your ears next to your shoulders, and the top of your head crown reaching towards your hands, and just let the chest sink down. If you want to do it with the chair, for some other level, you can do the same thing and just keep sinking through the heart as you're in that position. So the shoulder blades should feel like they're opening and the chest should feel like it's sinking so that you get that good stretch through the upper back. So again, Head keeps reaching towards your hands, whether they're on the wall or at the chair or wherever. And the heart keeps dropping down a little bit more. So nice opening through the chest, through the shoulders. And then tuck in your chin, bend your knees, and walk toward the wall and release. So again, just feeling that circulation. Let's see how your body is responding to that stimulation across the upper chest back here. And then step your feet a little wide, angling the, toe, the knees toward the toes, and then put your hands above your knees, position boat support, so not a lot of pressure in your hands. And then take one shoulder to the opposite knee. And just kind of chin forward and shoulder down, and head reaching away from your sitting bones. And then inhale back to the center, straighten it out, and exhale, opposite shoulder to the other. And again, as deeply into that as it feels right in your body. And then again, inhale back to the center, and come on back up and into fountain pose. So a little different stretch there across the shoulders. Just notice how that's feeling and breathe. And then let's stretch up 
and go all the way to child's pose on the mat. So come on all the way down, sink back, hips toward your heels, hands, palms up, and forehead coming forward. And again, remember your choice, how deeply you go into that forward bend. You can stretch your low back with the knees together, or you can breathe more easily with your knees apart. Take a breath, just relax. Pad if you need to around your ankles or to release those knees or thighs. And then inhaling, come on, sitting up and come into a cross leg position. We're going to do a few shoulder things. I debated whether we should do them as balanced practices, but I decided that we would just do the upper body parts. So go ahead and get your sitting bones connected. Remember that we're creatures of habit. We always do that cross of our legs the same way. So go ahead and switch it out. We'll be swapping it out again later again. So again, find your position. Get some padding behind you if you need to for that pelvic tilt so that your lower body is comfortable. And then we're going to focus on the shoulder area for a few moments. So bring your hands next to you and out to the sides. Turn them palms up over your shoulders. Stretch it up, but with your shoulders down. So you're sinking into your sitting bones. Your shoulder blades are going towards your waist. Your bottom ribs are coming toward your spine and up toward your heart. And the crown is reaching toward the ceiling along with your fingertips, but your shoulders are not going up. And then exhale, palms toward the floor as you bring your arms back down. Now we're going to take one arm out, palm toward the ceiling and over your shoulder. Stretch it up, shoulder down, and then bend your elbow and put the hand right behind your neck. And then take your other hand, pull that elbow in so it's as close in toward that neck level as possible. And then push your head back into that arm so you're not leaning it forward. You want to still have your whole spine all the way up straight. And then take your hand that's up and bring it around and down and see if you can clasp your hands behind you. If you can't, just hold your shirt and work them toward each other and see what you can do. And then again, pull your head back so that you're still keeping that spine nice and straight. And then the elbows come in toward your spine line and away from each other so that you're getting more work through that shoulder area. Cow face forwards. And then exhaling, release and unwind and feel the circulation back through your body. And of course, you have to balance the body and do that to the other side. So the other arm comes out, palm toward the ceiling over your shoulder, stretch it up, shoulder down, and bend that elbow, bring it behind your head, near your neck. And again, take that other hand to pull it in a little bit more if you want, sliding that hand further down into the middle of your back. Wrap the arm around, and see if you can clasp on this side. Sometimes people do one side and not the other. Sometimes they do neither. And sometimes they do that. So just whatever's right for your body is for your shoulder. It's up to you, personal practice as always. And again, see if you can bring those elbows toward your spine and away from each other, getting that shoulder opening a little bit more on that upper elbow. And then again, sinking into the sitting bones up through the crown. Breathe. And exhale and release. And again, feel what's going on through your body. And then take a moment to bring your hands into a clasp position and push the palms of your hands away from each other, straightening that up. And then bring your arms up over your head, shift them to one side, kind of bending that elbow and the wrist. And back up, and to the other side, and back up, even a little bit further back, and then to the front. Keep pressing out through the heels of your palms, shoulders down, and again, feel what's happening through that whole shoulder area. 
and sit your legs if you haven't already. So again, reconnect into the sitting bones, lengthen up through the spine, bring one arm out in front, <clears throat> turn the palm, <coughs> excuse me, in toward your midline, and then bend your elbow with the fingertips up toward the ceiling. So 90 degree angle with your elbow up to the, up to the fingers. And then the other arm comes out to the side, fling it under and bring the palms together in front of your face. And then push those thumbs toward your nose and then away from you slightly. Now, this is the complicated part. This is eagle arms. So you want the shoulder blades to go down, shoulders to go down and relax. And when that happens, if it works for you, Push your elbows away from you and raise the arms further. So that will be a little intense across that upper back. So be gentle. Don't overdo it. And then unwind. And again, feel that circulation. And notice how that upper body feels. <clears throat> and same thing with the other side. So bring the arm out in front. Bend the elbow straight up toward the ceiling. Opposite arm out, shoulder level, and fling it under, and see if you can get those palms toward each other in front of your face. And again, thumbs toward your nose, <clears throat> elbows down and in, shoulder blades down and relaxing. As that shoulder area releases a little bit, maybe elbows out and hands further up, coming into those eagle arms. Stretch across the back of your shoulders, just gently, not too much. Keep breathing, of course, and fly away. And again, just take a moment there, feeling how your body is, and noticing what's going on. And then lift your knees, bring the legs out into staff position in front of you, and press away from you. And then we're going to do a little lower body work too, working the spine and our diving dolphin. So bring one foot up to the inner thigh of the opposite leg, let that knee come down toward the side as much or as little as it wants. And again, remember you can get those sitting bones moving further behind you by having a little cropping if you want to. The front leg knee bends and the heel comes back near your hip. So again, kind of settle into that so that that hip on that second bent knee comes down a little bit. You can pad under that if it's more comfortable for you. And then lengthen up from the sitting bones through the crown and turn towards your first bent knee. Hands on your leg or the floor. Ribs come back as you exhale, dive under the water. You're the dolphin. Head towards your knee. And then rotate face and crown up, coming Inhaling to the sun and the sky. And just sinking back down into the sitting bones, rounding into the forward bend, exhaling, diving under, inhaling, and lengthening. So you want to use your whole breath capacity, exhaling on the way down, inhaling on the way up, and feeling the spine going through its full range of motion. So nice rounding down and and just feel the spine going into the forward bend as you exhale forward and into the back bend, lifting the heart and chest, looking up as you come up. So one more dive. And the next time you come up, just pause at the top and then exhale, coming back to the center and unwrap and unwind your legs back up to staff position. So kind of feel across the shoulders, along the spine, a little bit more energized. And we'll do the other leg, or the other side. So again, get that first leg in, knee out to the side, and then the heel next to that other hip. Sink down, get those sitting bones as connected as possible, and lengthen your spine for the twist. Exhale toward that first knee. Hands on your leg or the floor. Round forward, pulling the ribs back, exhaling down, forehead toward the knee, and rotating face to the front, crown high, inhaling, chest expanding, coming up. 
And again, just sinking into it, diving your dolphin. Exhaling on the way down under the water. And inhaling up to the sun in the sky. And just rounding forward, getting that nice forward bend through the spine. And as you're coming up, a little back bend, especially to that upper body. And again, just a few more dives for your dolphin. Just be that playful, fun dolphin leaping through the sea. It was like that image. And then on the next inhalation, stop at the top. Exhale, turning back to the center, and then winding back into step position. To so take a moment there, feeling your body, feeling your spine, and allow your sitting bones to connect up through the crown. So kind of move back and forth, getting those sitting bones pushed back just a little bit. We're going to bring the hands to the side, keep the palms down until you bring them to shoulder level, then turn the palms up and over your shoulders. So sink into the sitting bones, up through the crown, reach those arms really high, shoulder blades down, shoulders down, and exhale, bring your hands to your shoulders. Inhale, stretch it up. Exhale and release. Inhale and stretch it up. And this time, pivot at your hip joint, reach your hands toward your feet, your chin forward toward your ankles, and the top of your head toward your toes. So just reach toward those toes, just put your as little as they want to have, you can put your hands on your legs or the floor or your toes. And again, push the sitting bones back a little bit more. Pivot up a little bit more right there at the top of the thigh, not rounding through your back, not rounding at your waist, but keeping the chest and chin coming forward. And then, still keeping the chest and chin forward, straighten a little bit more, looking to the front. And then again, chest and chin leaning deep and a little bit more into that forward. And again, you can be holding your feet or on your legs wherever. And then releasing wherever you've been holding, bring your arms next to your ears, reach the head and the hands forward, and as the Straight line, pivot back up, and release back to staff position. And let's bring the feet to the end of the mat and roll onto your back. So take a moment there, just get in position in your recline integration corpse position, kind of sitting bones a little bit toward your heels. Leave that low back connected, just comfortably. Bring your arms out to the sides in T position. And then we're going to take the thumbs inside the palms and wrap your fingers around it. And then put one fist down toward the floor and the other one open to the ceiling with that thumb wrapped inside the fingers. And then turn it the other way so that the opposite hand is up and the other one is down. We're just going to keep rotating that way, one hand up, one down, slowly or a little faster if you prefer. It's your choice how much you make that rotation. And then start focusing not just on the fist moving, but the whole lower part, forearm, from your elbow down all the way through that fist. And one is up and one is down. And then think about adding the upper arm. And notice that that gets a little bit more range of motion through the shoulder. And then as the fist comes down toward the floor, actually lift the shoulder on that arm, straighten the arm. And then as that one rolls back to the back of the fist, the other one comes down, raising that opposite arm. So the shoulder goes up as the fist palm goes down, and just work through that range of motion, working those shoulders. See if you can get that motion going all the way into the middle of your spine. And then just gradually be, begin releasing it, and a little bit less, and then releasing the shoulders, just the arms moving, 
And then just the lower arms moving. And finally, just the fists moving again. And then turn both hands, palms up. Just feel the circulation. And then move the hands down near your hips. And allow yourself to have a moment, letting those shoulders sink toward the floor, and your whole body just relax through the fine integration. And again, take a few moments to breathe. And then we're going to hit, place the hands, palms down. Press your low back into the floor, sitting bones toward your heels, and then bend your knees and bring those heels in right next to your hips, right next to your sitting bones. <clears throat> so remember, you want to be rolling in from the top of the thighs so the knees stay straight up, not out to the sides. So press your low back down, <clears throat> hands, palms down next to your sides. And then as you inhale, hip bones come up and roll onto your shoulder blades. As the hips come off the floor, you can clasp your hands underneath. <clears throat> Press one side of the hands into the floor, straighten your elbows, and look up onto the tops of your shoulders, not your neck. So the back of your head stays down, your shoulders are down, and your hips go up as much or as little as they want to. So maximize breathing. And then releasing your hands, release your shoulders, feel the shoulder blades come down, then the ribs come down, and finally the whole spine back to the neck. Take a moment, feeling that circulation through the shoulders, through the whole spine. And of course, we're going to do that again, but clasp the opposite way if you clasp your hands underneath you. So again, press your back down. And as you inhale, lift those hips up. Come onto the shoulder blades first, palms still down. If that's good for you, stay there or clasp the opposite way so the other little finger goes on the inside. And again, straightening your elbows, pressing the side of your hands and your arms down. Come up onto the shoulders a little bit more, not too much, and not onto your neck. And again, keep the back of your head connected, the shoulders connected, the feet evenly connected. Make sure your knees are still up toward the ceiling. Lift those hips maybe a little bit higher. And then releasing your hands, release your shoulders, bring your shoulder blades down, the ribs to the mat, and finally the whole spine onto the floor. And extend the legs out, turn your hands, palms up. And again, just take a moment. Feeling that circulation. Breathe deep. Feel that chest area. And relax. And let's do a simple twist for our final twist of the morning. So hands to T position. Palms up or down, your choice. We're just going to do our bent knee twist. So again, sitting bones slightly toward your heels, pushing that back down, and draw your heels in toward your sitting bones next to your hands. Keep that back connected to the floor as you lift your feet, knees right above your hips, and then rolling the knees to one side, turn, looking at the opposite arm. Shoulders and shoulder blades down for your middle back, head turning as much as your neck and shoulder want. And as those knees come toward the floor, you can put your feet down if you need a little support or put something under your knees if that's necessary. And again, just breathe, relaxing into your twist. If you like that lower back twist, you can bring the knees up further toward your elbow, and that'll give you a little bit more stretch in that lower back while you're twisting. Your choice, how much you do, don't overdo it. And then bringing your heels back toward your hips, or roll onto your back. And again, you can bring the feet to the floor or keep them up as you notice that circulation through your spine and maybe getting into your skull for that meditative position. And then feet up, knees above your hips, and roll the knees to the opposite side. Turn your head toward whatever arms in the back of your neck. And relax, shoulders down, 
of German families toward the map. <clears throat> Again, go as deep into that as you like. Stay there. Pad if you need to. Put your feet down if you need to. Or bring your knees toward your elbow if you like that extra low back. And again, breathe and relax wherever you need to. Letting everything release into your twist on this side. And then one more time, heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back. And bring your feet to the mat. Take a moment again, just feeling that circulation and finding your relaxation posture or position. Hands near your hips, palms up. Shoulders and shoulder blades down, feet either reaching toward the ceiling or slightly out. And relax. So again, just feel your body. Breathe deep. Exhale, let everything go. And just as you allow your body to release any tension through the shoulders, through the torso, through the hips and the legs, and the whole body. Just let your body grow heavier with each exhalation. And sink your body deeper into that good bend connection as you are ready to do it. Breath in, tension out as you exhale. And just let your body go, softening and sinking. Now as your body relaxes completely, just let awareness of your body release from your thoughts. And as other thoughts fill your mind, just let them drift away on your breath. Unneeded, unnoticed. And as you allow the thoughts to drift in, just let them float away. No need to dwell on the past. No need to worry about the future. With each breath, just release any content, letting the thought drift away without attention. And as your body relaxes deeper into the earth embrace, and your mind flows freely without any awareness of what's going on. Just allow your attention to focus on the peace within. Find the peace and let it fill your body, fill your mind, and just be peace. And of course, if you want to continue relaxing, feel free to do so. Or bring energy and awareness back to the mind, to the world, to your body. And just begin moving gently when you are ready to. Allow your body to move gently. And as you become ready, press your back down, bend your knees. Getting ready for your yoga hug of appreciation. And as always, you can bring your knees in, wrap your arms around, and let yourself have a good hug, letting your body know you appreciate its yoga work and the work it does for you every day. And when you're ready to release that, just roll over to the side and sit back up and get ready for the rest of your day. Thanks for joining me.